What's up, Misfit Maniacs? Big J here, back in the saddle, going for a post-hospital PR on the Hammer Isolateral Low Row. So, before see. you do your set, just in case you happen to need one of these immediately after your set, I brought an ice pack. Nice. So, it's still cold, you can feel it. It was in my freezer overnight. Maybe I can put this on my neck while I train. And then maybe I can sterilize it after I bring it home. There you go. There we go. I got an ice pack immediately. Perfect. All right. Plus it hides that fat roll on the back of my neck. All right. All right, let's go. of three plates. That thing fell down my shirt. Go ahead and grab it. I'm going to push it all the way down. There you go. Oh, now it's stuck down there. My shirt's underneath my belt. Just like you were stuck on a decline press. Hey, I have a question for you. There's been some banter going back and forth between you and Lenny. What exactly is an Oklahoma drill? Would you explain that for those who aren't familiar with college football here in the States? Uh, that's an old-fashioned football drill that is never practice anymore because it's extremely dangerous uh, you have two football players one is in a running back stance like this the other guy is in a crab position on his back okay and at the I don't know how they do it set hit and on the command they both go at each other full speed. I think they're separated by 10 or 15 yards. Uh, great way to get paralyzed. So it's seldom practiced anymore. We need to come up with something called the Del Rey drill. Maybe the maniacs can come up with some good ideas in the comment section. What would be a good Del Rey drill? Well, on Dixie, you <laughs> put some knee pads on and go cruising for trannies. And then you get down on two knees and open your mouth. <laughs> the Del Rey drill. Yeah. Big J checking in from the gym on my road to recovery after 10 days on the ventilator and staring the Grim Reaper in the eye and telling him he better come back when he's got more. Another good set of 12 for some hypertrophy. I know. Well, I was going to say, one of the interesting things you told me about in your hospital stay, you had hallucinations while you were intubated. You want to tell the maniacs, maniacs about any of these hallucinations you had or visions? Well, I remember when I first got off the ventilator, for some reason I thought it was Christmas Eve and there was snow on the ground. Uh, I also had a hallucination that I was at a costume party and uh, you were there, my mom was there, Linda was there, McCuck was there, and uh, someone had dressed up like Brad and Valerie. It wasn't the real Brad and Valerie, but the guy dressed up as Brad was about this tall and it was absolutely hysterical. Uh, uh, I had all sorts of dreams. Uh, that I had been abducted in my truck and I was a victim of human trafficking. Uh, it was rough, man. It took a few days uh, to try and decipher what were hallucinations and what would, what really happened. So, it's a, it's a bizarre thing. I understand why people on the ventilator 
from COVID never came back because I couldn't walk when I got off the ventilator. Just 10 days in a hospital bed and I could not walk. So, you know, one thing about hospitals, they're real good at saving your life before they try and kill you. So, you gotta get out of there as soon as you can because they kept me on, they kept me on in the bed way too long. They had a bed alarm on me. So if I, if I tried to get out of bed, a bunch of nurses would come rushing into my room thinking I fell out of bed. That could be fun. Yeah. So I was using you a You ever uh, accidentally hit the button, have a few nurses come in? And... With, my, with my cock hanging out. <laughs> but, you know, after 10 days on the ventilator, I had a, all I could get was a softy. But, uh, yeah, it was definitely a trip. You know, using a bedpan and having super cute 30-year-old nurses wiping your butt. So I've kind of adapted that as a new fetish. Uh, nothing better than having a 30-year-old hottie staring at your hemorrhoids.